With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So guys, uh, here in this question it is given that the potential in holes of a charge distribution is given by V of Z is equals to 30 minus 5Z square. For the magnitude of Z, the value is less than or equals to 1 meter. And the V of Z value is equals to 30 mi 35 minus 10 magnitude of Z. For the magnitude of Z value, it is greater than or equals to 1 meter. So V of Z does not depend on the X and Y. If the potential is uh, generated by a constant charge per unit volume, so which is represented as rho naught in units of the epsilon naught, so which is uh, spread over certain regions, so then choose the correct uh, option out of this four. So this is a question that he has given. So here we have the equation for the potential of the charge distribution is uh, given by V of Z will be equals to 30 minus 5Z square and for the value of a magnitude of Z it is uh, less than or equals to 1 meter and uh, V of Z value will be equals to 35 minus 10 of magnitude of Z and for the magnitude of Z value it is greater than or equals to 1 meter. So that means the electric field value is uh, E of Z will be equals to 10 Z. So the magnitude of Z value is less than or equals to 1 meter and uh, E of Z value will be equals to 10 and the magnitude of the Z value is greater than or equals to 1 meter. So I have converted this uh, potential uh, potential charge distribution into the electric charge charge distribution and for the magnitude of Z value it is uh, less than or equals to 1 M and uh, E of Z is proportional to Z here. E of Z is proportional to proportional to Z and that means uh, we will get the continuous charge distribution for the magnitude of uh, Z less than or equals to 1 M and also for the magnitude of Z greater than or equals to 1 M. So E of Z uh, is constant in this case so hence uh, we consider a cylindrical Gaussian surface so by applying Gauss law by applying Gauss law for magnitude of Z less than or equals to 1 M. So we will write capital E into 2A will be equals to rho into 2Z into A divided by epsilon naught. So the value can be simplified and written as 10Z into 2A will be equals to rho into 2Z multiplied by A divided by epsilon naught. So the value of rho that we get is uh, 10 into epsilon naught and uh, for the magnitude of Z value greater than or equals to 1 M we will get the value of rho equals to 0. So out of these four options if you see we have the magnitude uh, we have the magnitude of value of Z uh, greater than we have got the rho naught value or epsilon naught value 0 here 0 there and uh, for the value of rho naught value is we got as uh, 10 into epsilon naught for magnitude of z less than or equals to 1 m and rho naught value got is uh, 0. So option b is the correct answer for this question according to our according to our solved solution. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download doubt and app today.